Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, September 20th. Still quite an active scene in the Atlantic Basin in terms of tropical activity. We have Hurricane Jerry, Category 2 storm, and a couple other waves right now. One over the Caribbean Sea and another one off to the east, but probably going to enter into the Caribbean Sea uh, region over the next several days. And yet another system is pushing uh, to the west coast of Africa right now. Here's an interesting map to show in terms of sea surface temperature anomalies. Notice this pretty large area now, cooler than normal sea surface temperatures in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean happens to coincide with the tracks of both Hurricane Dorian and Humberto quite well. They both moved in this fashion here and both resulted in upwelling. That's when the storm is sitting on top of water, especially Hurricane Dorian, which stalled out for a 24-hour period right in this region right here. It will cause churning of the water, upwelling, where colder water from underneath actually rises up to the surface, and the result is a cooling off at the surface. And this certainly will be somewhat of an inhibiting factor for intensification of the tropical systems that are out there right now. However, this is the climatological peak time of the year for tropical activity in the Atlantic Basin and it's that way for a reason. The oceans are the warmest this time of the year, this part of September, at least in the western part of the Atlantic. So certainly still can't have tropical activity, but this area of cooler than normal water will be quite interesting to monitor over the next several days. We'll see how long it lasts, and it can be somewhat of an inhibiting factor for the tropical systems out there right now. You may remember early in the tropical season, we had Tropical Storm Barry right in this region right here. It became a hurricane briefly as it moved onshore in Louisiana, but it caused some upwelling over the northern Gulf of Mexico that lasted for a few weeks, and this too could last for a couple of weeks. Still, some very warm water here, uh, off to, well off to the east of the Carolinas, warmer than normal waters in that part of the western Atlantic. Well, here's the very latest infrared satellite image of the Atlantic Basin. And again, we have multiple systems right now, the climatological peak time of the year. This is the location of Hurricane Jerry, a Category 2 storm. will continue to move in a northwesterly direction over the next several days. It does appear that it will turn away to the north and the northeast before ever reaching the U.S. east coast. But, of course, we still have time to monitor that. Another system over the Caribbean Sea right now, very slow mover, has to be watched. Yet an another system right here that looks like it'll probably enter into the Caribbean Sea four or five days or so, uh, taking a track to the west or northwest. And finally, yet another system just off the west coast of Africa. Well, one last map to show with respect to the tropical activity here has to do with the dry air that is often associated with Saharan desert air masses moving from the east to the west, from the African continent into the tropical Atlantic. And that dry air is represented in this particular map from the University of Wisconsin in orange and yellow. Notice our three systems here, Jerry, right in this area right here, and the system over the Caribbean Sea, and the third system about to enter the Caribbean Sea in this fashion. None of these three are really dealing with it. Uh, dry air right now. It's off to the north and east. So the dry air that has been a, a problem for tropical activity, at least earlier this season, doesn't look like it'll be uh, much of an impediment in terms of uh, intensification over the next few days for these particular systems. But again, keep in mind that this will move over some cooler uh, than normal waters, and, and that could be somewhat of an inhibiting factor uh, in three or four days or so when it reaches that part of the western Atlantic. Well, let's walk through last night's 6C GFS model run. High pressure continues to dominate the scene here in the mid-Atlantic region. Probably the coolest night so far this season. Uh, overnight temperatures bottomed out in the mid to upper 40s in many outlying areas along the I-95 part of the Philadelphia suburbs, for example, certainly up near Allentown, or so they were actually down in the lower uh, 40s down across Allentown, Pennsylvania, and all thanks to calm conditions overnight and a cool air mass. However, once this high shifts off the coast this weekend, that will allow for a warm-up. 
will likely get back to the 80s throughout the I-95 corridor for afternoon highs on Saturday and Sunday. Let's push ahead here and notice that high shifts off the coast later today and that will open the door for some southwesterly winds to develop over the weekend here by Saturday afternoon. Southwesterly flow of air is liable to develop. Temperatures rebound from the 70s for highs this afternoon to the 80s on Saturday and probably the mid to upper 80s on Sunday. But generally, rain-free conditions are expected with that high remaining pretty much in control right through the upcoming week. And notice here by the time we get into Sunday afternoon, we're seeing this is a Hurricane Jerry starting to move over those cooler waters, cooler than normal waters. Uh, of the western Atlantic and then it starts to make that turn to the uh, north and then northeast. High pressure still in control but there is a cool front system that will move through the Ohio Valley on Sunday into Monday and then arrive in the mid-Atlantic region, the eastern seaboard right in this time frame here Monday night. Does not look like a big rain producer but there can be a few showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm D.C., Philadelphia, New York City late in the day on Monday or uh, perhaps Monday evening. And all that will be followed by another comfortable air mass moving into the Mid-Atlantic region for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And here is Jerry at this time still off the eastern seaboard and starting to turn away. And by the time we get into Wednesday, it's pushing off to the north and east. And again, high pressure returns to the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, following the frontal passage that again should occur around Monday night along the eastern seaboard, Tuesday and Wednesday look like nice days indeed. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.